hey guys, welcome back for a kit review. Look inside the box of a new Trumpeter release, which is this guy. It is, as you see, the M4 Command and Control Vehicle C2V. Really cool looking beast. Um, 35th scale, so it's gonna be pretty big. Not looked inside the box yet, um, but we'll take a look in a minute. First of all, I don't really know anything about this stuff other than it looking cool when I bought it. So I looked online, um, it turned out that this is actually released in real life. That's a real machine was released in um, 2002, was when it first started. Um, the Iraq war, second Iraq war finished, was well, kind of started and wrapped up in 2001, but the US were out there for like another 10 years or so. So um, I don't know if it was deployed out in the Gulf, quite possibly it was, but it wasn't during the war, it would have been afterwards. It, um, they originally ordered 436 of them, I believe, or 400, yeah, 436 or 439 versions. They only actually got 25, well, they actually got 40. Um, there was, they postponed it, and then in the end they canceled the procurement. They said they didn't need them in the army. The, they were going to change the 20, the 25, um, they have operational, and they have 15, they keep for spares and spare parts. They were going to turn them to ambulances, but in the end, apparently they kept them for this intended use of a command and control vehicle. So real quick look on weaponsystems.net is where I got my information. I'll put a link down you guys to share it with you guys too. Link down below. So basically, like I said, it was it's entered service in 2002. It cost 1.9 million per unit. Um, 40 were built, 25 um, produced, and 15 were fielded. And it's um, a command coast vehicle, US, obviously. Um, developed in late mid mid late 90s to replace the M577 series of command post vehicles in US military service. The M4 C2V was be a mobile, large, and better equipped with funding allocated to other projects. Only a limited number of these vehicles were actually produced. The M4 C2V was based on the M993 chassis of the M270 MLRS multiple rocket launcher. This type of chassis shares automotive parts with the Bradley series of mechanized infantry fighting vehicles. So it's kind of the Bradley range. Um, it goes on and on. Um, it's a very good article, like I say, I'll post it if you want to read more about it. But like I say, I didn't really know what this was, uh, so I kind of really wanted to kind of just take a quick glance and see actually what it was all about. So, um, yeah, I don't know if it has an interior or anything. Like I said, I'm open the box. So let's switch the camera down to the bench and take a look inside and see what actually gets inside this box. Okay, guys, here it is. The M4 Commander Control Vehicle C2V by Trumpeter and 35th scale. This retails for about $85, but I say retail because Trumpeter is typically a lot less than that online and eBay and those other places, especially in the Far East, you normally pick them up for about 60% of that price. Um, see here, length is 22, sort of 22 centimeters long, nine, nine centimeters wide, and has over 960 parts. A lot of that is kind of armor is kind of irrelevant because most of it's track pieces. It is kit number 01063. That. And it looks like it has some photo etch and some few decals. And that's it there. Nice looking vehicle. So as I just mentioned, it's based upon the Bradley, um, has some common parts of the Bradley fighting vehicle. So here's a box. Quite a lot of parts. Let me um, put this aside and let's look at the instructions real quick first. So Firstly, the marking guide, there is just one marking, and that's this one right here. Unfortunately, Trump don't put down um, where it's from or which brigade or where it was stationed or anything like that. So you have to do a little bit of research, I guess, to find out. So here you go. It's, it's nice as in color, though. Um, places like Kinetic, manufacturers like Kinetic still do um, black and white callouts and summer kits. So here's the instructions. I did take a quick glance through just to see if it had interior and the answer is yes and no in that the cab at the front has interior but this whole back part is is, is empty, it has nothing in back there. Um, you, you can't see inside there anyway. Okay, so here's all the sprues, the parts as always. Uh, start with the road wheels, lower hull. The track it looks like 87 links on each side, so it's linked tracks. And it looks like, um, yeah, so you have an option to put the, the pad in or not inside the link, and then that's where your pieces come in. And there's 87 on each side. OK, 
okay. Working on, looks like this is like the cab at the front. Oh, excuse me, just hit some spruce. This is the um, cab at the front. This is what I talk about the interior part. You've got like gear lever, gear stick, um, some pedals and stuff. And then some seats and some more interior in the front. Um, not that you'll probably see much of this, but there is. Um, again, working on the cab. Some photo etch. Cab, cab, windows. Um, looks like it comes, says die cut mask. So it might come with masks for the windows. So we'll see in a minute. Um, I didn't see any, but we'll see as we work through the box. Again, working for the cab. So all this part right here is the front of the cab, some, some piping. And there you go. So basically the um, the cab part goes on the front of the um, the, the part you already made, the, um, the lower hole with the, the road wheels. Doors are separate, so you'll be able to have doors open or closed. It'd be nice to have them kind of one open so you can actually see inside all, the, all this work you've done. And then a couple of parts. So we're like two thirds of the way for an instruction. So really two thirds get through this stage. And then there's not much for the back here, I don't think. So we're in part 20 to part 21, working on um, 50, 50 cal or gun top. Then now we're starting to work on the back, which is basically two big pieces and then a bunch of like bumps and bumps that go onto it. So that's why I mentioned there's no interior in this part. It's just a box at the back. Yeah, more lumps and bumps. You have to bend some photo etch. Here it gives you some scale on how, how to bend it, the size. I think some other little, like lumps and bumps, some lights. And then the top part goes onto the bottom part. You've got some steps at the back. If you want to open, open mode. Or close mode. Oh, I get it, ladder. Okay, for a minute I thought you opened the back or front, like a, like a log, rocket launcher kind of thing. But okay, so now you can have ladders either down, or you can have ladders up. And the fuel can. And that is it. Um, so looks like most of your work here is on, on this part of the front. And then once you get that done, you pretty much, that goes together pretty quickly. So typical kind of trumpeter, no instructions. And let's start looking at the plastic. So these are the main parts here. So lots of detail, grab handles and stuff. It's a good old size too. You can see this at the back. Uh, the cab. I don't think I really need to get these parts out, but one piece. And then this looks like the lower part. Again, I'm not gonna take it, it's just a bit of plastic molding. So yeah, that basically just fits on like that. There is, you see where I cut, cut them off the sprue. So there are some parts, clean up parts right here. So obviously make sure you sand these down and clean them up. They've just kind of hacked them off the main sprue and they packed it. Um, so that will just fit nicely onto that and create the back. Okay. Tracks, <sighs> looks like they just kind of one piece, like I said, there's a pad to go on. Again, I need to open all those up to 87 on each side. Not a big fan of these tracks. I'd rather have like the ones like Ryfield or um, Meng ones where you have the pins that go on the side. I find often with these guys, they just kind of, even you glue them, they just kind of crumble when you try to put them on once you painted them. Um, I don't want to have a good success with these, but I'm sure it's a good way of doing it, a good knack. Photo etch, nice one fret. Looks like you got some wire, some cable. And photo etch, some grills, some other little bits. This is um, the decals, which are behind. Let me open this one. So yeah, it looks like dashboard kind of dials and stuff, a few like little warning signs um, and a Maximus zero zero number, which the model number is, I guess the um, the vehicle number. 
Now these, yeah, these are your, oh nice, comes in a mask set. It's not like, not the usual kabuki tape, it's kind of like rough, it's kind of interesting material, but it is die cut, so you just peel these off, so it makes it a lot easier for painting. So you can put the glass in and then just mask it, and then when you're done, take the masks off. So it's nice, it comes in a mask set. Okay, next up on the other side, these are just the pads for the tracks. A bunch of sprues, and then you open those up. This is... The, the floor of the cab. Nice detail. And these look like the wheels. Like the rubber goes around the wheels. Clear parts. Um, look very clear, nice. I like the kind of the rivet, it, rivet kind of, it, or bolt kind of around the edge too, it's nicely detailed. Okay, so now the main sprues, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, actually match pair, so eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12. So a lot more plastic in this one too, so. Don't really need to get this one out, but this is the lower hole. One piece bathtub, nice, you can see nicely molded. Um, not rifle model standard, but it is pretty good. Um, it's bolt heads and nice detail. You can kind of see around this, the front there. Plastic, nice and crisp plastic is one nice thing. Um, there's no flash on this at all, it's really nicely molded. Just some, just some, some pipes, um, some hatches. Really nice. parts again nicely molded the doors look really nice door frames um dashboard it does look really nice once you have a decal and use a nice setting solution it's gonna be like bed around all those dials it's like some kind of computer or some kind of screen. So again, some really nice detail here. Um, again, it's a really crisp, nice plastic, no, no problems there. This I don't really need to open. It's a matched pair of um, some drive wheels and stuff. Other little parts, but lumps and bumps. So then we got four screws of road wheels. Again, it looks really nice. There are quite a lot of like these little like ejection, like the pins where it's joining joining parts. You have to take off and sand. But yeah, good. So there's four of those. This is just a couple of like the internal parts, like the cabinet, like cabinet tree inside panel, some some kind of vent or grill, some other little like lumps and bumps. And finally, again, so you got shovel, axe, a couple more hatches and stuff, and one, two, three, four, five oil, like either, either water or um, gas cans, um, two parts. Again, really nice. I, so there are a few ejection pin marks, but they are kind of in hidden places on the back end. Going through this, I don't see any major 
issues. Again, you've got a few ejection pin marks, but you're not going to see anything inside this. So, I mean, it's fine. So, this kit looks really nice. A um, lot of parts. Um, like I say, over 960. It's going to make an unusual vehicle. If you like your modern armor, then this is probably for you. So, again, this is the Trumpeter. What number is it? This is the Trumpeter 01063 35th scale M4 command and control vehicle, which is a C2V. Um, yeah, there you go. So if you're interested, um, like I said, it just came out recently, last few weeks. Um, so it should be available all your usual retailers and stockists. So I hope you found this video interesting. Again, just a quick look inside the box. And um, if you want to see any more videos, feel free to stop back. Um, I'm posting quite a lot of content right now, a lot of update videos of um, what I've been up to, um, middle of building some aircraft, and also actually building the Firefly uh, rifle model tank as well. I'm kind of just um, working my way through that um, slow time on the side. But yeah, there you go. So thanks for watching. Take care and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.